on how I designed this ribbed cup. I'm going to focus mostly on the ribs that you can see here, and we're going to try to keep this nice and short. You probably want to save this so you can come back to it. If you stay to the end, we will talk about how you can get this cup or this design for free, and I'll give you the link. All right, let's jump in. So the first thing we want to do is I'll start over here on the right side and I'm just going to essentially build my ribs, the cup and the cutout to make the inside of the cup nice and clean. So we're going to start here and draw a couple shapes. I'm going to start here and go up to 100 millimeters and I'm going to come out about 30. Uh, we're going to switch our tools here, grab the spline tool and we're going to make three dots. So you got one, uh, second one's going to be out a little bit further. Third one is going to be nice and low. And your fourth one, or and this one, is going to be here. So now we've got our dots. We do need to fix this because I can't have this at the bottom. So we'll zoom in and we'll just make this nice and flat. All right, so there is our base shape. Next thing we want to do is jump in here and do an offset. So we're going to grab this shape, do an offset by three millimeters. And this is going to be the rib here, this red line is gonna be our outside of our cup. So we say, okay. Now we do need to make a couple changes. One of those is we need to bring this line back over to this side. So in order to do that, I have to, sometimes you have to delete these out. I like to leave, delete them just to be safe and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna grab this line, do a simple move. I need to move this three millimeters. So five is definitely too many. And we're gonna say, okay. So there is the rib and the cup. And the next thing I want to do is bring this in one more and I need to set the inside shell or the cup thickness that I want. So I'm gonna grab my offset one more time, grab this, and I'm gonna set this to 1.5. And you can move this to however thick you want your shells. I found 1.5 to be a pretty good number uh, when printing. And again, we've gotta move this over one more time. So I'm gonna check and make sure we don't have anything there. We should not. Uh, simple move this and we're gonna move this. 1.5, sometimes I'll type this in, 1.5, and you'll see, hey, it actually moved this one, so we need to go move that back. Um, that happens occasionally, I don't know why, someone can probably tell me in the comments, that'd be great. Point 0.5, and we are good to go. All right, so with some simple revolve tools, we should be able to build our cup now with these three different sections. Um, all right, let's jump in and grab this one. And like I said, with a simple revolve, I should be able to um, fill this in. Come down to your revolve, grab this one, and I wanna grab this inside because we wanna make this a solid. I'm gonna choose my axis right here. And there I've got the basic sh inside of my the cup and say, okay, now the next step, I need to turn this sketch back on and grab this section. And again, we are gonna do a very simple revolve, um, grab the same axis that I grabbed before. And it's set to 360. I'm gonna turn this down to 10 degrees. Uh, 10 degrees should look really nice and clean. There's our rib. And I don't wanna join, I wanna make this as a new body say okay so there is our first rib um, now all I need to do is make a pattern around this cup with that rib and so I'm going to come over here and just grab my new body which should be body two and then come up here and just grab a quick circular pattern um, I've got my object selected I'm gonna select the axis again just like I've been doing and you can see I've already set this to 18 when I did this earlier that was the number I found to be the easiest and look the very best. So we're gonna go 18 and say, okay, so there we go. Now we've got the ribs on the outside, kind of looks more like an apple than it does anything else right now. We're gonna go and fix this and do a simple revolve on the inside and then cut the top and the bottom off and we will have it done. All right, this revolve on the inside, clean this up a little bit. We're going to come into our sketch and choose revolve and we need to find our inside line, which is right there. And then we need to choose our axis. It's getting very repetitive. And grab that, change this back to 360 degrees. 
and say, okay. So we've cut out the inside. Now we just need to cut off the top and the bottom and we should be good to go. Uh, really quickly jump back to this right side because that's where I've been working and we're going to create a new sketch on top of this. Sometimes I have to zoom out to grab that inside panel. This is going to be right in the middle. So I have to do a symmetrical extrusion to make this work. All right. So I'll just start off this anywhere, come down, pull it in, and I can kind of set the height that I want my cup to be at this point. Um, somewhere right in there. It looks pretty good. And we'll come down to the bottom, do something very similar. On the bottom, we got to be a little bit more precise because we could end up with some kind of funny stuff if we don't get this close enough to the bottom. So I want to get it as close to this little blue line. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We'll zoom in real close so you can see. We want to get as close to that as possible um, while keeping this there. And we really don't want to cross it a whole lot. So somewhere right there. Definitely want to get to it, but not cross it too much. This is going to make the bottom of our shell a little bit thin here. I'm okay with that. Should be should be plenty thick still. Uh, I'm going to finish this sketch and then do really simple extrude on both of these, and we should be good to go and have our cup all done. Um, put it in this view so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to change this to symmetric and quickly just cut that out and say okay. Now we'll turn off our sketches, and there you have it. So here is our basic shape after we've done all the work. Really, really simple. Last thing I'd wanna do is to combine all those. That's totally up to you. I would highly suggest it if I'm gonna be converting this to an STL file. So quick, click on body one, click shift, down to 19 and a simple combined. And I shouldn't have to change any settings over here and okay, there you have it. Very, very simple ribbed cup. Um, a little different than the one I created earlier, but same technique. Here's what the bottom looks like. This will print without any supports on your printer, and it turns out great. Um, if you want the STL file from the print here, I've uploaded this to Printables. You can go and download that. Just look for BA.3D printing, and you should find it. I'll also put the link to this in the description below so you can get it as well. Um, like and share. Love all the support you guys offer, and we will be back with another video. Thanks.